Well, it's a nice sunny warm day today, and that means we're going to fire up the grill. And I'm going to fire up the cigar and drink beer. Today for the grill, we got a couple of bison steaks. Now, they're only six ounces, but that's plenty for me. And bison is a good source of lean protein. Anyway, let's get started with the cigar. What we have here is an Arturo Fuente sun-grown bellicoso. Oh, we're going to fire this thing up. Let's get this cover off of it. Cut it with my favorite cutter. So I can use right-handed, yay! I don't want to cut it too far down. Let's see, how about right about there? Oopsie. Yeah, that's good. And I'm going to use my new lighter. Isn't that exciting? Now I got an unboxing video on this. It's pretty cool. It's got a uh, soft flame and a, uh, a torch flame. So I can light my cigar with the soft flame like I like to. And then I can use the torch flame if I need to do touch-ups. I didn't check the temperature, but it's nice and hot out there. That's the way I like it. Speaking of the way I like it, that's a good cigar. It's smooth. It's flavorful. It's it's not not harsh or anything. And in fact, it's one of my favorite cigars. Puts out lots of smoke. I mean, it's a, it's a smooth, creamy smoke too. Now today, I think I did this on my last video too, but today we're going to start the grill with the chimney starter. And uh, I'm going to see if I can, there's a bug in it, take y'all along and fire this thing up for the camera. I think last time I fired it up, I put stuff in the grill, put the coals in the grill and just went from there. That's smooth. Anyway, I'm going to stuff some papers up in here, dump some charcoal in the top, and we're going to go ahead and fire it up, and we'll see you out there. Okay, for paper, my wife has these old puzzle books that she's done, and they're printed on, on newsprint. But, you know, you can just use newspaper, but unfortunately, we don't have any newspaper. I'm just making them little balls and wedging them in the bottom. Not making them into tight little balls, because, you know, you got to get some air through them. Sure, I have some around the edges so I can get to it with my lighter. More up down the middle here. Last time I think I used too much paper, or yeah, I used uh, more paper than I needed to. 
I was just getting kind of impatient. Now we're going to go ahead and take this thing on out to the grill and throw some charcoal in it and light it. Oh, by the way, still burning good. Well, we'll see you out there. Oh, there you are. This time around, we're going to use hickory. There we go. Hickory charcoal to give it that give it that uh, hickory smoked flavor. Let's see if I can get this in view. Yep, there it is. Got charcoal chimney starter thingy <laughs> sitting in here. Gonna go ahead and dump the charcoal in it. Probably too much, I know. But last time I didn't use enough. And I got some uh, charcoals here. That still look pretty good. I'll put those on top. I'm not sure if it makes a difference if I put them on the top or the bottom. But uh, I'm putting them on top this time. Now, I got my lighter. I'm going to use my little orange torch. And we'll just go around the bottom of it. Start in the back. They're lighted in a few different spots. Now some people add vegetable oil to the paper to get it to burn a little bit better. But I'm new, new using this thing, so we'll see what happens. It starts smoking like that yeah, right away. And uh, we're going to let it burn for a little bit. And we'll be back and check it out. Really starting to smoke now. Woo! Smoking more than me. It's been about 40 minutes. You can tell by how much of my cigar is gone. Uh, anyway, it looks like it's ready to go. So I am going to relocate the camera and dump that. I put my glove on because that son of a gun is hot. All right, let's do this. I got my glove because like I said, this thing's hot. I got a concrete pad over here. I'm just going to set it on there and let it cool off. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, move them charcoals around, and get this thing ready to grill some bison. Okay, we got the bison, the bloody bison out here and ready to throw on the grill. Only thing I'm going to use on it is rub sage. And uh, well, I'm probably going to need both hands to do this, so I'm going to shut the camera off, throw the bison on, and turn the camera back on. Be back in a second. Got him on the grill, got some rub sage on it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him a good sear on this side, flip him over, get a good, give him a good sear on the back side, and then move him back to where it's a little bit cooler, or I should say not as hot, and let him cook there. So I'm going to close this thing up. We're going to take care of that. Well, it's all done. And uh, here's mine. That's cooked exactly the way I wanted it to be cooked. Oh my gosh, that's going to be good. And there's my wife's. And, you know, it's got the lines on it and stuff. And looks like she already took a chunk off of it. Well, we're going to sit down and we're going to eat it. And what did you think of that chunk that you have, Disa? Yeah.
Well, I'm going to try one right now. Well, yeah, yours is all fucked up. Yum. Oh my gosh, that's delicious. Mmm. Just what this gimpy old engine wants. Anyway, we're going to eat now. We'll see y'all next time.